Hello and welcome to another Polani video. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be installing Artorrent. And I'm going to show you how to do that with minimal effort and with a basic RC file. So first off, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and install Artorrent real quick. So I'm going to install that and after that we're going to go ahead and configure it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we have installed it, we need to configure the RC file. Now you need to have a .rtorrent.rc file in your home directory. So if you do not have that, you need to make it. I already have that, so I'm just gonna go with rtorrent.rc. Here it is. So um, these are the basic options that you need to get rtorrent working. Um, so I have it at, well, I have the download rate capped at 2,500 and the upload rate capped at 500. But you can obviously change that to suit your preferences. Um, so getting uh, going over the options real quick, you have a minimum number of peers, 160, max number of peers, 640, minimum number of peers when seeding, maximum number of peers when seeding, maximum number of uploads, uh, down and upload rates, which are obviously uh, very important to change. Um, you need to have a directory where uh, rtorrent is going to save the torrent files. Um, so session, you also need to have that, another directory. Um, port range is static, have it at static. Support random, no. Check hash, yes. Use UDP trackers, yes. Now for the encryption options, I have them. Um, I have just the basic ones. So allow incoming, try outgoing, outgoing, and enable retry. The more option, the more encryption options that you have, the less peers you will be able to connect to. So I, I just keep it at a minimum. The HD is auto, port six eight eight one, and peer exchange is enabled. So after we've done that, we can go ahead and start our torrent. And here is our torrent. So I will. Uh, put a link in the description for my rtorrent rc file so you can modify it uh, any way you like so after we start rtorrent as we can see uh, CLI interface um, and what we can do we can obviously go ahead and, and snatch a uh, torrent so let's go ahead and do that Is going to download LibreOffice. So what we need to do, we need to obviously uh, copy the link to the file. Go back to our torrent. Now, once you have the link for your torrent file, um, you can press Enter and then uh, Shift Insert the link and it will load up the link, but it will not start downloading it. It will not start downloading the uh, torrent. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I could not create download. The input is not a valid torrent. What? Did I copy the wrong link? Oh, my bad. I. Uh, I selected the, <laughs> I didn't select the uh, torrent file. So, so yeah, after we press, uh, let me just do that again, real quick. So if we press enter and shift insert the link, as you can see at the bottom of the window, it'll state the um, torrent link. And when we press enter again, it will 
load up the torrent, but it will not, it will not uh, start downloading it. Uh, as we can see, it says inactive. So in order to make it active and start the download, we need to press the down arrow and control S and that will start the, uh, the download process. Now, an alternative way is to let me go ahead and delete that. You delete the uh, torn file with, uh, you need to press control and D twice, okay? So again, we need to, we can press shift and then then it will, uh, then it will say load.start and that way it will start downloading the torrent file immediately. So shift insert and enter and as we can see the download has already started. Okay so now that we know how to uh, start a download, in order to pause a download you need to select the torrent again down arrow and then you press Control and D just once, okay? So it'll say inactive. And if you press Control D again, it will delete the torrent. Now, in order to resume the download, you need to press Control and S. So Control S, and there you go. Now, obviously, sometimes you need to select the indiv individual files in a, let's say, a magnet link, right? Because our torrent does support magnet links. So then you need to, again, select the torrent file and press the uh, right arrow. And here you'll see the peer list info and what we want is file list. So here we see that um, there is only one file, but if there were multiple files, you could um, change the preferences of it. You just press space and you can change it to off. So do not download high high priority uh, or normal priority and um, and yeah and that's pretty much it so you can add more uh, torrent files you can um, like I said you can use magnet links it's a uh, it's really a great uh, a great program okay so that that's pretty much it um, like I said I'll put the link for my RC file in the description. Again, this is just a bare bone uh, RC file. Um, so yeah. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.